Does the safety of your teens online keep you up at night? In this digital age, it's a valid concern. The virtual world, while full of opportunities, is also rife with threats. Today, let's delve into a step-by-step -step guide on how to protect your teens online. Step 1. Utilize parental controls. These handy tools can shield your teens from cyberbullying, predators, and other lurking dangers. Parental control apps can even alert you to potential red flags in your teen's internet activity. The second step, employ safety software. This is about empowering your teens, not restricting them. Safety software can help your teens understand the potential risks and how to avoid them. Thirdly, make the most of privacy features. Encourage your teens to be selective with what they share online and to use the privacy settings on social media platforms. A key part of this is teaching them to keep their location private. Step 4. Limit screen time. A reduction in screen time can not only decrease the risk of cyberbullying, but also improve your teen's physical and emotional health. It's all about balance. Next up, step 5. Monitor online activity. Stay involved and aware of what your teens are doing online. This involvement can protect them from inappropriate content, cyberbullying, and online predators. Step 6. Know who your child interacts with. It's important to be aware of who your teens hang out with, both in person and online. Engage your teens in discussions about online relationships and the importance of good netiquette. Step 7. Use a firewall. This can prevent unauthorized connections to your computer. Make sure that the firewall is active at all times to provide constant protection. Finally, Step 8. Arrange regular outings. Quality parent-child socialization is key. Show them the real world and always be honest with them. Practical examples such as household chores can be very effective. To summarize, protecting your teens online involves using parental controls, safety software, and privacy features. It's about limiting screen time, monitoring online activity, and knowing who your child interacts with. Using a firewall and arranging regular outings are also crucial steps. Remember, it's not about control, but about teaching them to navigate the online world safely. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this valuable information.